Okay, so my life came to a head last night, or hit rock bottom, and um, I had a life-changing moment, and um, I'm sharing this. It's a little bit hard to share, and uh, but I'm hoping maybe someone else can relate, or maybe it will be relatable enough to help somebody, um, and it's just going to help me by sharing, so, um, I have, again, excuse my stomach, just what it does, um, you know, it's, it's, no secret. I've made jokes on on TikTok about um, you know drinking a glass of wine, drinking a few glasses of wine, enjoying. Um, I really do enjoy having a glass of wine or two, or a seltzer or two, or a drink or two, and I'm not. I'm not an over imbiber. However. I realize, I realized big time in a really scary way that the current stress in my life has a massive and probably deadly interaction with alcohol. And um, I have made the choice to become alcohol free and um, it actually is for lack of a better word it's a scary choice because I have realized that I do rely on alcohol as a a chill out as a bit of a crutch um, I have a glass of something or two at the end of every day and um, my current life situation between my family situation, my grandma in the hospital, um, my work situation, just not being able to make ends meet and um, both of my kids in different types of crisis modes. My daughter's dealing with health problems. My son is still dealing with the fallout from his dad dying and he's still trying to um, still trying to digest that and he he's doing good mostly, but he has moments. And um, what I did last night was a uh, an absolute catastrophe catastrophe for all of us. I had two glasses of wine, two small glasses of wine, um, spaced out, and um, for some reason, those the combination of I was in a really bad headspace I guess whatever stress hormones are pumped out through your body um, interacted with those two glasses of wine and I found myself in a predicament that was really pretty horrifying and terrifying to my kids and um I am sad and ashamed and angry with myself, um, frustrated that it happened, um, but I found myself puking and then literally nearly passed out, nearly unconscious on my deck, 
um, to the point where I was laying on the deck but couldn't move because I was so sick. And I, I was able to text my kids that I was on the deck and needed help. Um, they came out and my son had to carry me in the house. Um, had to get me into a spot where I could puke for several hours. And um, I don't know where any of it came from because I really didn't have much to puke. Pretty much bile. And I just kept getting worse and worse. Um, my daughter wanted me to go to the hospital. There was no reason to go to the hospital. What would they have done? I, I didn't have anything to pump out of my stomach. I didn't have, I don't think that they could have done anything. But the realization is that I can't mix with alcohol. And it's a really hard thing to say out loud and admit out loud. But I guess the first step to realizing that you have a problem is admitting that you have a problem. And um, being that there is so much addiction in my family... And my husband that actually succumbed to years and years and years of alcoholism. Um, I don't want to do that to my children. And I don't want to, um, I don't want to shorten my life. I don't want to affect their lives so horribly. I mean... At 19 and 22, you shouldn't be witnessing your mom like that or taking care of her in that manner. And uh, I'm putting this out there. I'm burying my soul. And um, I guess, I mean, I, I have a counselor, so I will be talking to her about it. And um, I, I guess, like I said, I'm... This is a really private and emotional and um, it's a delicate subject, but I feel the need to share it because um, I, don't, I mean, there's got to be other people that have reacted in a similar way, and um, I guess share your story with me too. So I know how you got through it. Um, I mean, to be honest, I have enjoyed my glass of wine or two in the evenings. And um, I am going to mourn the loss of it. I was, so I guess that's, a, that's an addict talking, maybe, I guess. I don't really know. I have to look more into it. Um... It's just wild what your body and how stress can affect you. Um, stress hormones are, are wicked. They're really wicked. Stress is wicked. Stress kills. And it kills in more ways than one. And uh, the effects can be devastating. So, today... July 4th is my liberation day of um, day one of becoming sober. Alexis turning my lights on and off. I don't know why it does it every night. Anyway, day one of my sober journey. And uh, hopefully it makes everything better. Not going to make the stress better, but it'll hopefully save myself and my relationships with my kids. Have a good night, guys, and uh, I'll keep updating.